Welcome back to the Bitter Betty Podcast. I'm Bitter Betty Deadhead here with my two cohorts. Bitter Betty Tova. And Bitter Betty Carol with an E. And today we are here with another request from Guido. He wanted us to do the warning when I'm alone. We have already reacted to this. So this is not a raw reaction. Um, we had a corrupt situation with the hard drive. You can read about it on our community page. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but we read the lyrics a while ago. So, because last time I think we were, were all a little like, what? And then, so now we got the lyrics in our heads, and this is going to be the second go around. So, maybe it'll be better. <laughs> yeah. So, because with, with all transparency, Carol did not care for the song the first time I heard it. Yeah. So, now that I have the lyrics, you know, and, um, we've, I've read those, I want to, want to hear it again. And then, um, and see where where this one goes. So, because me and the warning have been kind of up and down. So, yeah. um, but I've grown to really like quite a few of their songs. So, let's see if I have a different take. Yeah. All right. Full of color on the outside, but only see in black and white. I'm desperate for some light in the corners of my mind. Having hope but not enough, reaching out to find no one. Am I the only soul to have lost all control? It gets hard to breathe, stuck in between. On what has become my fake reality, and there's no.
Carol. I see you looking at me. <laughs> I see you looking at me. So my opinion has not changed much. Um, okay. Here's the thing. I love the actual lyrics. And I think when, when I said this last time, which unfortunately you guys didn't get to see, but um, so I loved the beginning, like which really slow, you know, just her and the guitar. And I think that's where I get lost, right? Because I, I, I'm ready for whatever she's doing, like this slow. And it went on for a while. It's not like it was just a little bit. Like it, it was a good portion of the beginning of the song. And then it went to with the band, which I understand they're a band. That makes sense, right? But I think it's that shift where it loses me. And because mm -hmm. I was prepared and really enjoying that slow, very intimate kind of beginning. And then yeah. it lost me when the band kicked in. And I think that that's where the song loses me. So like yeah. compared to last time, like because now I have all the lyrics and I, I, I understood the lyrics last time, but I thought the beginning was so beautiful. And I loved the beginning that when <laughs> the band portion kicked in and then it just went more up tempo that's where it lost me because I was expecting mm -hmm. more of like this sad type of song, which it is, but I wanted it to keep that, that same slower energy. Yeah. And like when it kicked over it, that that's where it loses me for whatever reason, that's where it loses me because I love her voice so much. Like I've gotten to really, really enjoy her voice. And so I think that's where the song loses me. I definitely could like watching it a second time. That's definitely like where I get lost. Yeah. What yeah. Um, it's still not my favorite, the warning song, but I didn't hate it either. Like, cause I'm, I agree with a Carol and this is so weird. I have no, uh, me and Carol don't usually always agree on things. <laughs> That's but, true. Um, the, the beginning and to be honest, last time I said it differently. Cause I like the, the more the band, but I think because I got the lyrics, and yeah. I actually started crying in the beginning this time because I felt it. And um, I think once the band kicked in, it's like it got, it was rocking, you know, like, and they're, they're a rock yeah. band. So, yeah, I get it. But, yeah, I don't know. I no, don't... I think uh, I think you're both kind of on to the same track. And I'm going to just elaborate on what y'all said is that I think there's a lack of dynamic in the fact that she starts off with this really quiet, like, very beautiful intimate, piece yeah right like ballad and then it goes into kind of like a almost like a early 2000s like 2k like rock vibe but it only stays there it doesn't really get bigger after that it doesn't come back down it just stays one note the whole time and i think that's where it, it also lost me but that's because like you know you look at somebody like ronnie radke who reimagines the versions of his song and they always start out very intimate, very um, sultry, very slow, and and they build into this incredible yeah. masterpiece of a rock ballad at the end of it, right? And I felt like that's where that song should have been. I like the quiet in the beginning. I think she should have stayed there with that acoustic, and then the band should have built upon each time you hit that bridge in that chorus, you know, it gets bigger and bigger. So it should have gotten a little bit bigger and then pulled back again and then got bigger and then a little bit more back and then big, big at the end. And that create that creates that journey of somebody going on that emotional roller coaster with you of having to hide your emotions and then also like pretend that they're not there at the same time. You know what I mean? Like it, I, there, yes. the struggle, those emotions evoked did not match the music to me. Yes. And I think that's where, because the lyrics are beautiful, right? Yeah. I love the actual, like what, like the actual lyrics and it's definitely this, the song construction, right? Like the way it yeah. was put together, um, that, that kind of, that lost me a little bit, but, um, because the beginning I love, I would love to actually hear her just sing like a whole, like, guys, right. if yeah. you know a song that's like that, can yeah. you let, let, let us know? I would love to just like hear her like, that would make like ballad -y, like. Well, you know and that I mean? would make an a that would make a badass acoustic set right there. That song would make a, like her on just an acoustic guitar, with maybe a little bit of like a, a snare drum kind of like a yes. you know, little tiny drum kit type thing, maybe a little bit, a bit of a, a a bass maybe, but like just mainly an acoustic song like that would be in a beautiful acoustic song. Yes, where her voice would be the 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 instrument itself doing yes most of the dynamic because work. she sounds so beautiful like she sings yeah. beautifully. That'd be so, cool to hear. But uh, yeah, that's, you know, 
that's uh, that's the warning when I'm alone. Like I said, lyrics are great. Guido, thank you. And and if oh, anybody's yeah. gonna you know gonna know, it's gonna be you know the 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 warning army is gonna let yeah. us know for sure. Like if there's a song well, like and, that that we can. And find. I I don't want to get anybody wrong. I actually I really like the song. I just like if I'm gonna give some criticism or some critiques, that would be it. And I think it would have made the song even better than it was if it had that dynamic to it of starting out small and ending up big with the ebbs and the flows in between. Mm -hmm. I think those are really, those make lyrics more impactful. So, but I did like the song yes. overall. I mean, the band is amazing. Can't say enough good things about the band. Yes. But yes, the band and their fans, they have been amazing. So right. um, guys, make sure, Mel, did you have anything else you want to add? No. Okay. okay. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Um, hit that bell so you get notified uh, anytime the buddies drop. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.